see all of this excellent, wonderful art of the students. We had nine schools that participated in our arts festival this year and we are proud to say that we had 40 first place winners and a total of 94 participants that submitted entries for our show. We do this every year to support the arts for our Clayton area students and to support the art teachers. And we enjoy doing it and know how much the students enjoy seeing their work hanging. We've got some phenomenal artists in our community. Please take the time to walk around and, and look at what these folks have done. These kids are pretty amazing. With that, we will get into the award ceremony. First place in color, color photography went to Shelby Anderson. <laughs> Don't move. First, pla <laughs> First place in digitally enhanced photography went to Shelby Anderson. Do you okay. like photography? Hi, my name is Shelby Anderson. I have won six awards. My favorite was the black and white that I submitted. It was a picture of the first prison ever created. And they had it set up to make it even seem intimidating. There's only one person who ever got out and stayed out of the jail. I had a calendar that um, I got inspired by. Basically, I just like, the concept and just doing it because everyone just does it because they like it and I mean that's all that matters. My name is Leo and I won for first place in pen and ink and I love art because it gives you a way to express your feelings and what you enjoy doing, what you admire through the pencil, paint, and any other type of media. I won for pencil drawing um, for sixth to eighth grade. I got second place and I drew an eye because I'm really inspired, inspired by eyes and I love drawing them and I just like the concept that you can do whatever you want to and there's not really any limit. I've always liked photography and art. Um, it was just interesting, it was different to me. I made a wand, mainly from Harry Potter. The process was actually quite a long one. I started out with just an ordinary stick. After I'd figured out what design I wanted, I went on to shaving it down to the right size that I wanted. So I went through with a pencil and marked out all my marks and then I um, wrote on the handle in runs or runes. One is my dog's name because I absolutely love her. Um, translates to Martha May Huvier from The Grinchy Soul Christmas and on the other side it translates to Dog Mom. art teacher at Clayton High and I do have a few students uh, that were able to have their artwork shown at this competition and I am quite proud of having them in here although I didn't have too many of them but I did have about four that did win so that's a good thing for them. You can see them, it's great to see them because you are able to see how they've grown from the very beginning and how their art has changed and they get excited with when new techniques are shown. It's sad to see them when they have to go because most of them are my seniors. So it's like you, you grow with them and then it's sad when they have to leave. Let's give all these students a big hand.
At the end of our program tonight, Ms. Deborah Cote, who is a Clayton Visual Arts Board member, awarded the Dorothy Dimboski Art Teacher Grant Awards to four of our uh, local schools, and they are for support of projects that they will do in their local schools.